Hello everyone, I am Shubham and welcome to Pentesca. This video is all about API pen testing and in this video we are going to focus on a very common vulnerability which found in API and according to OASP API top 10 it's uh, on number 1 uh, and it name as what we can say broken object level authorization or you can simply say POLA. This vulnerability is also known as an IDOR which is insecure direct object reference. Okay, so if you don't have any idea about this vulnerability, you can simply go to this website or OS website to uh, simply check about this vulnerability. Okay, so first we are going to set up a lab uh, for our uh, learning purpose. So for that, I am going to use a, a really cool project, okay, which is VAMPI. So what is VAMPI? Uh, VMPI is a vulnerable REST API with OS top 10 vulnerabilities for API. And the cool thing about the VMPI is what uh, we simply get a postman collection included as well as uh, we can simply change the token time and we can make that, that particular environment vulnerable or not. Okay. So we uh, here in the readme file, it also included uh, the quick action pages. Okay, like uh, the action which included methods, path and details. Okay, so here the list of vulnerabilities and here how we can uh, run it. Okay, so uh, I'm going to run it on my Kali box. So first I'm going to git clone it. So, yeah, let me open a terminal. Okay, so I'm going to download it or simply you can say clone it on uh, my desktop. And yeah, I'm going to uh, first let's say ls and uh, here we have a requirement.txt so first uh, we are going to install the requirements for, for that i'm going to use this command which is sudo pip install hyphen r requirements.txt okay so yeah okay so in my case, uh, the, all the requirements are already satisfied, uh, but might be in your case, it may took some time, okay, or a few minutes. So you need to wait for that. After that, uh, we, we are going to open this app.py file to uh, make some changes uh, along with our token, okay. Okay, so here you can check that uh, the, uh, the token alive for how many seconds. Okay, so we, we are going to change this value to 60 because it's a really less value for us. So I'm going to change it uh, to 6000. Okay, and simply exit. So after that, uh, I'm simply going to run app.py python3 app.py hit enter and uh, parallelly i'm going to check an private ip address of my kali box which is 192.168.1.8 okay so uh, basically uh, our uh, vulnerable api is running on this uh, kali machine along with 5000 port number okay so let me open it first to verify 192.168.1.4 yeah it's it's 4 or 8 okay Okay, so it's running. Okay, so uh, 
now we are following a real a purely white white box approach okay a white box testing approach okay so uh, for that you you can check over here that we have a postman collection so i'm going to uh, open it first uh, it's in this uh, open api underscore specs uh, directory so i'm going to open that json file and after that um, yeah click on draw and uh, i'm simply going to copy this all data in that uh, from the json file and going to open notepad and pasting that file over here one thing we need to change uh, in this json file which is what uh, this base url we need to replace it with our kali box or our host uh, host ip okay host machine ip simply okay so in my case it's a simple which is what one one nine to one sixty eight with what with uh, port number 5000 okay so i'm going to simply i'm going to replace it so need to add that first base url okay and uh, need to provide a protocol over here which is 192.168.1.8 and port number which is 5000 okay i'm going to replace all yep and uh, after that i'm going to save it along with the json extension okay so i'm simply saying that api dot json okay so uh, for this particular lab setup or for this uh, api testing obviously we are going to use a uh, postman uh, with zap or bob suite uh, that's totally depend on you uh, for this lab purpose i'm going to use the bob suite with postman okay so let me open postman as well as i'm going to run uh, okay so here we have postman and our buff suite uh, running successfully okay so first i'm going to import uh, that json file into a uh, postman so let me uh, import it click on import and you can check over here that we have a different different uh, collection okay which include different different request with along with url and all okay so uh, another thing we need to uh, do is what uh, click on the setting and uh, we need to set a proxy to the burp suite so that means uh, each and every request uh, through uh, postman uh, will be go through with the verbs okay so need to click on this add a custom proxy uh, okay in my case it's already added so click on this uh, this box and add a proxy over here so which proxy you are going to add along with the port number it's simply you can check uh, on proc under the proxy tab and under the option in verbs suite okay so uh, let me click intercept on uh, sorry off yeah now uh, first thing i'm going to try a simple home page and uh, check in verbs with that we are getting data or not okay so we are getting all the data over here okay cool so after that i'm going to create a new user so uh, let's register a new user okay so uh, in body we need to uh, add a new user so replace the strings values 
so I'm uh, going to create a new user which name is test test and email I'm giving test at the rate print test guy team okay so click on send and uh, you can check over here that our uh, user is successfully registered so after that we are going to uh, log in with that user this is uh, just for uh, we required a token and obviously uh, authorization is uh, what after a user uh, login that means uh, it's a part after the authentication okay okay so here we uh, simply got a token so yep i'm going to copy it yeah after that uh, okay so uh, the vulnerability occurred on this particular endpoint which is uh, books okay so i'm going to retrieve all the books and let's check what we have over here okay so we have uh, excuse me uh, different we have different different books over here uh, along with the book title and uh, user okay that means owner of that particular book okay so uh, what i am going to do i am uh, simply will try let's add a book first uh, okay add a new book so we will simply add a new book so i am going to paste a token over here and i am going to add a book over here which is uh, api pen testing and secret will be one two three four five okay so book has been added successfully okay so after that uh, let's okay so we are going to retrieve the book by along with the secret so for that we need to provide a book value so i'm going to provide a api pen test yeah obviously uh, yeah api pen testing okay along with authorization token okay so we are uh, able to get our own book title along with the secret so obviously the same thing uh, captured or the same request uh, already captured in the bob suit why because we already set a proxy according to that okay so here we we can check that uh, we simply uh, it's a get the get request and uh, we are simply able to get what this book okay so i'm uh, simply sending this request to the repeater and click on send so we are we are getting this uh, book title along with the secret but what if i change this uh, book title so it may possible that we will get the secret to of that particular book okay so for that obviously i'm going to use a uh, Bob Suite only. Okay, so let's check the books available books first. Okay, so here we have a uh, four books now. Uh, so I'm going to pick the first one, and uh, I'm going to replace this name with book title sixteen click on send and here we we are able to get that secret for the book title 16 so uh, this is a simple scenario of an idor or we we can simply say what bola which is broken object level authorization okay so other vulnerabilities you can try it by yourself or 
I will show you in the next video.